newsmakers and TNA officials recently about how Julio Dinero and CM Punk might be considered among the top contenders for the NWA World Tag Team Championship. You remember that conversation I that I, I was that I have a spy? I mean, overheard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know me, I'm not afraid to speak my mind, but I, I don't know. I really think uh, they've had good training under Raven, and I think they might make a great tag team. Speaking of Raven, whoa, yes. what a match between him and Shane Douglas. The hair versus hair match. Mike, your thoughts? Well, I, I tell you what, it was it was a disgusting situation oh. as far as I was concerned, especially when you consider how far Raven has come. And, and at the point of that match where Raven appeared to be on the verge of victory, oh, only to have the mystery man come out and spoil the whole situation. It was, it was, it was just, it was disgusting. It was wrong. It was disgusting to you, Don. It was you, wrong. Don, you walked off. I mean, it was absolutely wrong. You know, I know people would say that, you know, what is Don West doing walking off from the broadcast before it's over? But, you know, I couldn't blame you. Mike, to me, it showed me, though, that Raven was a man of honor. It's exactly what The crowd what came to see something, and he let him see it. But I'm going to tell you something. That was wrong. There was nothing right about it. That match was too important. Those two had gone too far. I still get disgusted talking about it. I want to invite you to stick with us this week on Explosion because yet to come, we will show you not only the hair cutting, not only Raven having his head shaved, but also we will reveal the identity of the mystery man. You've know, been wondering who that's been for the past couple of months. I'm it was a shock. International star, very recognizable. You'll know him when you see him. His TNA debut. Shocking, disgusting, all in one package. You'll see that later this week on Explosion. Mike, the controversial Eddie G made himself known right there. Smacked CM Punk with the cane in the back and took all the momentum out of their sails. I saw the cheap shot from outside from the arena floor by Eddie G. Would you pounding on the ring apron, trying to get the troops fired up. And J-Rock tags in big Cliff Compton. Who we've seen before We have seen him on Explosion in the past. Trained in the Garden State of New Jersey at the Monster Factory of Larry Sharp and shoots him off the ropes and drives the elbow into the chest of CM Punk. I'll tell you what, CM Punk right now is in no man's land. That's what happens when you get a little interference there by the controversial Eddie G. Just totally took CM Punk out of this. The momentum just did a 180 in this match. Oh, but he got the tag! Well, it looks like the momentum may just switch oh, back oh, 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 to, to the team of Julio Pinero and CM Punk as Julio unloads first on J-Rock. Jumping back kick takes down Cliff Compton. Julio cleaning house here, Mike. Calls J-Rock out of the corner. Drives him down. Now measures Cliff Compton off the boot to the midsection. What's he going to do here? Punk. Ready for the meeting of the minds? No, no. Ooh, they stopped it. Got a little too cocky there. Oh, great kick. Here comes Punk. They took their eye off me, Mike. De Niro and Punk got their act together. CM Punk charges at J-Rock. J-Rock elevates him to the ring apron. Oh, CM Punk drives him down throat today. J-Rock gets him up. He got him up. And CM Punk oh, oh, snaps it up from the top row. And Julio's going to go for the cover. And Julio's going to get the pin. No winner for the match. The team of Julio De Niro. And 